All right, so welcome back to AutoCAD in five minutes. We're gonna do a quick line type file on how to create a line type. So let's begin, because it's gonna take a little bit. So honestly, to create a basic line type is easy. So to create a basic line type, first thing you wanna do is actually draw the line type in the drawing. Now there's a few different ways to do this, but honestly, I find this to be the easiest. So um, I'm gonna draw a line here. I'm gonna turn on ortho, and I'm gonna make it 0.25. And to be honest, I'm not really gonna care, care about you know, making all these gaps exactly the same or any of that stuff. I can honestly clean this up later in the line type file. So what I'm really just doing is creating the basic sketch of the line type I want. So I want something to look like this. And yes, I know there's a line type that already exists that looks like this, but we're just going for it. So, um, so once you have your idea kind of sketch, and again, keep in mind scale. So if you notice, this line is only 0.25 long at 10 scale. It's going to be two and a half feet if you're using engineering decimal feet. So just note there's a few differences you got to watch out for. So let's go and uh, start converting some stuff here. So we're going to go to Express. Uh, we're going to go to Tools and go to Create or Make Line Type. First things first, it's going to ask you where you want to save the file. Again, kind of take special attention to where you're saving this file as you will need to load this in your drawing whenever you want to use it. Um, so I'm going to put mine on the desktop and I made a line types folder under there and I'm going to click save uh, in there right there. Perfect. I'll delete out the one that's in there so we know there's no funny business going on and I'm just going to call drawing. Now, once you save that line file, it's not over yet. Look at the command line in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So it's asking you to enter a file name. So that file name is going to be kind of whatever you want to call it. So this is technically for me, uh, would be more of a property line. So I'm going to call it property. And then uh, if you hit space, guess what happens? It does the enter key. So um, you can change it later. No big deal. So if you call it property and then you hit the space key um, on that first one, just note, yes, it is going to do the enter key. But if you do space on description, it'll let you do it just fine. And again, if you misspell something, who cares? You can change it later. <laughs> now, here's the hard part. So starting point, that part's easy, right? Right here. It's going to start there. Endpoint. Now, most of you want to select the endpoint here. The endpoint, technically speaking, is here. The reason being is when this line part, when this line type starts generating, we want it to go da 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 da. Okay, space dash space dash space dash, and then we want it to repeat again at the first part again. So technically, your endpoint's here. This is only here to keep this space. Now, when you select the objects, which is the next prompt, again you select everything except for this line here, and you hit enter. You'll notice instantly, yes, you've now made a line type. You'll see it up on here. You can go into your line type and click away. Now, if you can look at it, if you want in 20 scale, we're going to turn on annotation scale here and auto scale. Perfect. And I'm going to switch myself to 20. So I'm just going to create a custom one real quick. Apparently it's not there in this template. So I'm going to call it 20 and I'm going to create this part real quick. And then just so we can look at it in 20 scale. Now regen. Again, you'll see there's no line type there now. You have to drag it much further because again, this is 20 scale, right? So don't expect your line type to generate. Now there it is at 20. So this line, the distance from here to here on this one here, so that's two and a half times 20, right? That should be about five. Boom, look at that, five. So again, it's all working just fine. So honestly, that's how you create a line type. Now you can create a line type with just about anything. If you're gonna put text in the line type, be sure to use dtext. And honestly, it's the same exact process, just so, and just pass the text, and you're done. It's honestly not bad. The only hard part gets when you wanna need it or need a shape file, which is more of a line type that has like a smiley face in it, or it's got a bell for sanitary storm, things of that nature. So. But that's not it. We want to actually make this file a little bit more easily kind of rounded number wise, right? So we want to modify it still. So we're going to minimize here. We're going to find our line types folder where we saved it. And uh, I'm going to open up the line file here. And right here is where you're just going to come in here and you can kind of tweak everything here and make it all kind of nice, even areas here. So we're just going to tweak it just like this. And we got this guy here um, again. Um, that's the gap so we want everything's pretty much 0.05 so we can change it like that but let's say we wanted all the negative numbers which are the gaps anytime you see a negative that's a gap and you want to change those all you got to do is select them change them like so and then hit file save 
Now, when you go back into your AutoCAD drawing, or if you open up a new drawing, to get those line types to be at the new kind of designated numbers, you have to type in LT, load, file, and then find your line type file, and reload it. And it'll ask you, reload? Yeah, reload the selected line type, perfect. So now, when I draw on that, it kind of just fixes it up really nice. So again, this is the AIMCAD channel. My name is Brandon, AKA Fearless Leader. Feel free, please give the drawing a subscribe and a like. And again, hit that bell button if you wanna see more of these. I'm gonna be cranking out these five minute videos on a lot of these things until we can finally take a whole slew of them and we're gonna put them all together and actually create something using them all. But if you're just interested in how to create a line type, here it is. I'll see you guys in the next video.